The U.S. weekly jobless claims hit 4.4 million, bringing the five-week total to more than 26 million. And the U.S. House said they'll pass nearly $500 billion more in coronavirus relief. The COVID-19 lockdown has led to record contraction in the German economy as well. The U.K. manufacturers reported the quickest falls in output volumes and total new orders since 2009. And the Bank of Japan will discuss unlimited buying of government bonds at its next policy setting meeting. Welcome to the Tickmill update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll look at the EU Commission economic forecasts and the U.S. durable goods orders for March. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Yen pair, which finally did the unthinkable. It broke below the key support level of 117 for the first time in three years. Last week, we were wondering if the pair would reverse and form a double bottom bullish reversal instead. But now we have a confirmation of a bearish indication, which may have opened doors towards further drops towards four-year lows of 111. Do you think this was a false breakout? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.